Mr. Kofinti, a tax expert, is the new commissioner of the Ghana Revenue Authority. He takes over from Mr. George Blankson, who goes on retirement. Mr. Blankson is credited for doubling revenue between 2009 and 2012. Mr. Nti, on the other hand, comes to the table with experience in tax finance and banking. A switch of power from one tax expert to another. It is the first of such changeovers since three revenue agencies, the Internal Revenue Service, the Valued Added Tax Office, and Customs, Excise, and Preventive Service, SEPS, were merged into what is now called the Ghana Revenue Authority. The man who led this reform, Mr. George Blankson, has been at the helm since 2009. The tax consultant and economist is credited for having doubled revenue during his tenure and putting in place a robust structure on which the authority currently operates. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm also certain of a bright future for the Ghana Revenue Authority because the management and staff that we have in the GRA have demonstrated a capacity to hold high the torch of change and have exhibited dedication to reforming revenue administration and doing so tirelessly. Mr. Kofi Inti, on the other hand, is also a banker, economist, statistician, accountant, and a tax expert with experience spanning over 30 years. He has headed the tax policy unit at the Ministry of Finance for six years, from 2006 to 2012. All the lofty dreams of our Excellency, the President Nana Adudankwe Akufuadu, will be mere mirage. We as a team need to work together to double the revenues that comes through us. At the official handing over ceremony, a tax policy analyst at the Ministry of Finance, Dr. Labisiao, taxed the new Commissioner General to increase revenue. You have all the qualities to double revenue in three years. I challenge you. <laughs> the Ghana Revenue Authority exceeded a 2015 target of 21.57 billion Ghana cities by 620 million Ghana cities to hit 22.17 billion Ghana cities.